So in order to manifest and become a mag magnet to your desires, because it's possible and it's very simple, very simple, which I'm going to teach now, um, to become a magnet to your desires is you need to get on the same frequency. How do you do that? 17 seconds, okay? I also have some exciting news, which wait till the end and I will disclose that for you. Okay, so for this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to manifest anything in 17 seconds. Become a magnet for your desires. Okay, so this is, let's say this is Julie. Let's just call her Julie, okay? And Julie wants to find love, okay? She wants to find love. It's what she wants, but you can use this example in money, health, whatever you want. We're just using the example of love for this, okay? Julie wants to find love, okay? Um, but her beliefs, okay, let's say the beliefs she has of herself is that deep down she doesn't feel worthy of love, okay? Maybe she doesn't feel worthy of love because maybe past experiences, past things that happened in her life and she, you know, deep down feels, you know, I'm not worthy of love, okay? And her thoughts might be, oh, you know, I'm not worthy of love, like I can't find love, but she desires that, you know, that is what she desires because a lot of us desire a lot of things, but we don't believe we're worthy of them. Let's say you want money, but you don't believe you can be successful, okay? So it's like the mismatch, you're not, they're not on the same frequency, okay? So what she does is she believes she's not worthy of love. So she starts to think all the time that she's not worthy of love, okay? And your thoughts, okay? have a, uh, they emit energy okay so energy is everywhere every single thing on this planet is energy the world is a ball of energy your thoughts um, emit an energy which is a wave and little particles combined together are waves also known as frequency so your thoughts are on frequencies and that's why people always say you know get on the frequency of what you want and I never understood it for so long I didn't get it but now I get it it's just balls of energy in waves coming out of your 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 thoughts so it your thoughts are emitting a frequency and her frequency is you know oh, i'm not worthy of love love can't come into me but she does desire love the reason she's not getting love is because she's emitting out a feeling of you know i can't desire love and so love is running away from her it's not even coming anywhere close to her because she's emitting the feeling that she's not worthy and your thoughts um create the frequency and emotion in your body which triggers your action so she probably won't do any steps to find love because she doesn't believe she's worthy, even though she's craving it, okay? So she wants love so badly, but she's not getting it because she's not changing her thoughts and her frequency, okay? And this is where the 17 second manifestation comes in, okay? So how you attract anything in 17 seconds. So this is a strategy by Abraham, Abraham Hicks. Okay? So now that you understand that you need to be on the same frequency of whatever you desire in order to attract it in, I love this saying, okay? It's like, think of us as broadcasting systems, okay? The universe can only pick up how you're feeling, whatever frequency you're on. It doesn't matter how many positive thoughts you're having, if you're not feeling the emotion, the broadcast is gonna pick up whatever emotion you're, you're having and give you more of it. So if you're feeling a, a lack of love, you know, you don't feel worthy of love, the, um, but your thoughts are like, I, I'm worthy of love, I'm worthy of love. You know, someone trying to tell themselves affirmations, I'm worthy of love but their frequency is that they're not worthy the universe is just going to throw them more of i'm not worthy because you're you're emitting this feeling so it doesn't matter what your thoughts are um if they're not creating the the, the connection and that's where a lot of people have a lot of disconnect from their thoughts to their feelings. You know, they like to think they, um, let's say they're trying to ingrain a new belief, like I'm successful, I'm successful, but deep down they're like, I'm not successful, I'm not successful. Um, and that's why they're not successful because they're not being able to attract it because it's their deep down feeling. So in order to manifest and become a mag magnet to your desires, because it's possible and it's very simple, very simple, which I'm gonna teach now, um, to become a magnet to your desires is you need to get on the same frequency. How do you do that? 17 seconds, okay? So the 17 second rule is basically designed where you focus on how it would feel to obtain the item, which in this case is love. So what this girl Julie is gonna do is she's gonna close her eyes and she's going to imagine herself already in love, that love is in her life and that a magnet is in her life. She's not gonna be repeating in her head, I'm worthy of love, I'm worthy of love. She's actually gonna really tap into the feeling. She's gonna shut her eyes, she's gonna be like, I imagine this. And what you're meant to do is to really picture the moment in 17 seconds, let's say she's imagining herself with a hunky man on the beach, okay? And she's gonna imagine that feeling and really emit the feeling and then you hold on to it for another, I believe, 58 seconds. Let me find here. Oh, 68 seconds, okay. So then 68 seconds, what she wants to do is to hold on to that feeling, okay? 
and you're gonna want to do this every morning or every night or anytime you have a spare time I mean how bad do you want it no I'm joking and um, if you have any time spare in the day practice law of attraction practice this tactic because what happens is the more you build on this the more you practice this the more powerful the feeling is the more powerful the force is and love is just gonna be drawn into your life because that's the frequency you're putting out okay so what you're gonna do is close your eyes for 17 seconds and imagine yourself. What, what are, how do you feel? You know, where are you? What does the guy look like? How does he treat you? How does he make you feel? Okay, how does he make you feel? And then you're gonna hold on to that feeling for around a minute. Shut your eyes, just imagine it for 17 seconds. Imagine the visuals and then almost like hold your breath and just feel it and feel it. And every time you do it, it's gonna get more and more powerful and your frequency is going to be emitting out la di da di da. And the beautiful thing is it's gonna naturally change your beliefs. You know, you don't even have to work on the beliefs too much. It's the feeling because it's actually gonna change the belief. Oh, I am worthy of love because I'm feeling love. And the thing I love about this tactic is, for example, let's say you want tons of money. You know, people are always like, oh, I want money, I want money. The crazy thing about visualization and like feeling the emotion is that you can already feel what it feels like before you have the product. You know, society have drilled it in us, you know, I'll believe it when I see it. You know, I'll believe it when you're um, like, I'll believe it when you're successful, when you have this much money in your bank account. I'll believe it when I see it. But what you need to do is to believe it and then you'll see it, okay? So by her believing I'm worthy of love, she's already feeling like she's in love. And that's just gonna make her feel incredible. She's gonna walk around and her actions her actions are gonna align with that. You know, she's gonna maybe do things that she wouldn't do. Wild synchronicities will come about that before she might have shut off because she doesn't believe she's worthy of love. Let's say um, her friend tells her to download a dating app, okay? And she's like, oh, no, I'm not doing that. I'm not worthy of love. No one's gonna date me. And she shuts off that idea. Whereas when she's feeling an emotion of love, she's gonna be like, you know what? I am because love is out there for me. You know, all these little actions, these wild synchronicities, you're gonna act on them because you believe it already is coming true. And it's like um, the magic is already unfolding. So that is basically what the 17 seconds is. Um, I personally love this for business. I love this for my health. I love this for relationships as well as friendships. I literally manifested my best friend, <laughs> literally, um, through doing this. I already imagined, because I moved to a country. I don't know if, if you're new to my channel, I moved to Toronto from Ireland um, and I, I didn't have any friends here. And I just imagine like I had so many friends. Like I was really like, yeah, my best friend. We're so similar and literally we're so similar. We have the same birthday. We have the same vision. It's like crazy. And I just imagine like I already had an incredible friend and she came into my life. So yeah, that is the power of it. And I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you try it out. Also, okay, I'm super happy to announce that my Goal Getter Mindset Academy is now live, okay? Online training program academy that is going to rewire your mind, make you adapt this whole new mindset and become a magnet for your desires and to step into your truest potential. So I have a free three-part training down below, completely free for you guys to check out, completely free. It's like a mini course. And what it's gonna do is help you make your dreams become a reality you know maybe you're curious you're like why isn't my things manifesting what it's going to do is it's going to uncover the block blocks that you may be holding that you don't even realize and how to unveil them and actually draw in what you want so if you want to check that out i will link it down below and yeah check me out on instagram my podcast is The Goal Getter Mindset. If you want to hear me yap on a little bit more because I could talk for Ireland, I could talk for Europe, I could talk for the world. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. Sending you lots of love and I will see you in the next video. <gasps> 11, 11. Okay, bye.